This used to be a permadeath, but at this point I've reloaded multiple times in and out of combat, and I've died. So enjoy all the quests and all the items, because I'm doing the whole thing. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some main quest, I think. We're going to get Dragon Rend, and we're going to get Clear Skies, so we don't have to deal with this weather. So let's just get right into it. Let's leave Solstheim. Cool. So we are meeting Delphine in Riverwood. I think we may have a problem where I'll have too much stuff to give to Malborn, so let's hope she puts it all in the chest. Well, the stuff refreshed. Cool. Solitude. Give me what you can't live without. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy. Okay. Party. Don't worry. That. Cool. Which means when you're ready, you're only in. All right. Party boots and clothes. All right, here we go. This video has a sponsor, myself. If you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will receive a special offer of one free Spec EPT Undying Gratitude straight into your heart from mine. Like the video, thank you. There we go. Let's go. Okay. Erm, erm, erm. Let's go. Hello. Out we go. I'm gonna kill everyone, I think. No witnesses. Oof. Epic kill move. Man, I I loot things so quick because of my inventory. Well, I forgot to bring lockpicks. That kind of sucks, isn't it? Hello. Okay, need to read. Whoa! Did you see that? There is no dossier on Ulfric Stormcloak because he's dead. That's pretty cool. That's a cool detail. Oh, I, I loot so quick. I think Esben actually has a quest, so I need to keep him alive as best I can. I've already cleared the way for us many episodes ago. I don't know where Etienne is, but I don't think he has a quest. I think he's fake news. Okay, we're good. Alright, Delphine. Next up is Esben and the Ragged Flagon. So we need to do some jobs. Hello. Ah, uh, Relis. We should probably go do that at some point. Oh, that wasn't even that bad. I wasn't loud at all. Just ask him where he was at the and let's do the thieves guild jobs because we're headed back to the place. Well, never mind. We're just returning. Feindal stops training you at level fifty, so I may as well just use the last of these points. You're back. I'll show you what I did. What do you want me to carry? Ah, we can return to Balamond too. Great. You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's Oh, a special request. Special solitude quest. Dude. <laughs> anyway, I force one arrows on. 
Get out. Maybe I craft some more of these at some point. Go away, go away, go away. Ah. Epic kill cam. This guy's my favorite character in the game. He'll tell you, just ask. You don't even need to ask. He'll tell you anyway. Everything he says is so deep. Like listen to that listen to that. Let's hear it again. It's hopeless. He told me. He's right, you know. They were golden, even when they were dead. But their blood was red. I knew it would be. Their fires lit up the night, all across Lake Rumer, like stars come to earth. It was beautiful, really. You can just tell he's seen a lot. You can just tell, you know? Quickly, though. Kick. Fire and darkness. Rare. Let's be off. Okay, so with Esburn, he can't... You can't let him stray too far away. Otherwise he'll stop following you. You have to come back and get him. So I'm going to make sure that he's with me at all times. He can't be running too far ahead. Look how small these chests are. They're cute. Why is lockpicking so hard now? I swear to god when I changed the ethereal crown it wasn't that hard. But now it is. Good. Wait. Attack. Thief attack and a vampire attack. Both. Whoa. It's all go in Riverwood. Wink. Right, Sky Heaven Temple. There's the vampire. Really? Whoa, okay. I don't need to kill all these guys. I don't want either Delphine or Aspen to get stuck on anyone. They don't commonly, but they do sometimes. So I'm just gonna go for it. Heck. Now, if I hit Shadow Mirror, he will die. That would be really bad, so. I'm gonna get very close to that guy. What was that? I swear I just saw a ghost. Okay. The throat of the world. And this is where we get the final word of unrelenting force. Wait, I swear I have never been in this building in my life, nor have I ever seen anyone in this building. I didn't even know this was here. What in the actual what is in here it's a neat little lookout ah. well that's pretty cool isn't it I just spilled cookie crumbs everywhere my cookie bag is empty but I did was filled with crumbs. So I suppose in that sense it was not empty. So you don't have to use all three words on the clear skies. Go away GeForce experience. Oh, uh, you only have to use one. And you don't have to use it through this misty area either, you can walk past it. You only have to use it when it's the blizzard type effect like this one. Hello, Elmo. Elder Scroll opening. I hope I don't get blind.
Okay, we're out. I was watching YouTube shorts. So, this needs to be done in the correct fashion. If it, things are done in the wrong way and too fast, Alduin will softlock. So we're going to wait for this dialogue to finish. We're going to wait for this dialogue to finish. Right, here we go. Alright, and here we go. Cool. Watch this, observe. So this is the part where we have to go through some annoying meeting with Ulfric Stormcloak, General Tullius, Jarl Elisif, and all these people, alright? We actually do not. There it is. Right, learn shout call Odaving. This is where we go talk to the blades and we get the Kill Parthenax quest, which with a heavy heart I say that we are going to have to do because it is a quest and we have to do all quests this playthrough, sadly. Now I believe that if we kill Parthenax here, we will actually get a unique potion from Esburn, or maybe it's a unique effect. We get a unique something before we kill Alduin if Parthenax is dead. So he may have to be felled. It sucks. But it has to be done. Goodbye, old friend. We have to fast travel away. He doesn't like being one shot. Yes, this is a shame. Cool, where's Esburn? Is he outside or is he inside? Ah. There we go. 10% critical hit chance versus dragons for five days. All right, dragons reach. What happens if this guard dies before Odovin comes? Whoa! He lands up there! Has anyone seen this before? Let's see what else he does. He lands- Holy sh! I didn't know he landed on like the, the roofs. shot isn't it sup sup Draugr bros dragon bros that was three words That's really good. Three death lords in one one area. Hello, dragon priest. Diamond claw fox moth a dragon. Storm call. Watch this. You ready? So. Look at this. Look at this setup. The staff is the key to Sovereign Guard, okay? He's gonna pick up his staff, and it's gonna be in his inventory. This means that when we kill him, we'll have to place the staff back into the pedestal to open up the portal to stop Sovereign Guard again, unless we do a bit of a trick. There we are. We got the Dragon Priest Staff, and we can bring it into Southern Guard without having to place it on the pedestal. Let's see if we can find some cool characters. Who's this here? Do you know the way? Weary and lost. Beware. The world either waits within the mist. 
Who's this? Who's this? When Ulfric storm broke with savage shout sent me here, my sole regret was fair Alison, left forlorn and weak. I faced him fearlessly. My fate in his I don't think you can pickpocket this guy's clothes. Can Ulfric say the same? By right of cleverness, I am master of the College of Winterhold. Roasted ox leg. Ox head. To battle, my friends. To feel. Here we go. If I stare into this long enough while sprinting, I can make myself believe I'm sprinting towards it. They call me One Punch Man. that concludes the series. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm kidding. Let's see what Ulfric has to say now. All hail the Dragonborn. Praise him with all praise. Well, that was not the line that appeared in the subtitles. You saved us all. We will sing of you forever. Le epic. That is the coolest shot I've ever seen. Let's do it. Peace. See ya. And main quest of Skyrim defeated. Alduin Malan. Okay. Let us go talk to Rallis. And then I have an idea for the next quest after that as well. Hello. Okay, so something that I've been meaning to do and have said have said several times that I'll do is the next part of Arniel Gain's quest, and I failed every time to make good on that promise. So let's go and do it now. There we go, Arniel's endeavor, and we've relocated many convectors across Skyrim, so this should be easy. Here's one. Here's another. Wow. What a beautiful night this is. Okay, next. Guess there's one here. Okay. I'll begin preparations. Right. We need to wait for the next phase of that. So, what to do now? What to do now? I'm tempted to do this because this is twofold. This, this, both. We could do these both at the same time. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. This quest is also kind of a pain in the ass. Right.
Epic left. Now I don't know how essential fast stand is to this quest. I can't remember. But just in case he is, I'm gonna try and kill everything that I see. Spin. Okay, so we got his item. Here we go. Okay. We're in. Bastan is so wholesome. Valor the Jailer. Deceased. No mask. This guy literally never leaves. He stays here for an eternity. Right. Well, there we go. Shalador's writings have been found. So we can return them to Urag. Whenever. Let's go discover this Adwema ruin over there. I think that this is a good place to stop for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, and or subscribing. I would appreciate it a lot. Um, oh, that gave me the biggest fright in the- <sighs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Sound good? Sound good.